I don't want to go through. For some reason, I thought the square button would make me run faster. <laughs> what have I been playing? I don't on actually that? know what that would happen in. Halo. Egg, like X is your sprint button? Yeah. Oh man, I accidentally hit the wrong button. I meant to hit X in this thing. Yeah. Ah, oh, Ooh, come on. Oh, what a oh, dick bag. You got fucking punched in the face. Is this a new enemy? Yes, it appears to kind of oh, be. <laughs> Stagnant air. <laughs> I've been keeping that in my bow. Yeah, for I, years. Used the, I used the classic control scheme. That makes X run. How is that classic? I don't think X has ever been run. X is always like their whatever button, remember? Like, it's X used used to be button. like the equipment button, like the use button. Yeah. That'd be a total pain in the ass when you're trying to do shit and you spring around. Nah. <laughs> nah. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not. <laughs> it's not like, nah, it never happens. It's not some pain in the ass. Like, nah. Uh, I kind of moved with the Halo controls as they happen, so yeah. Mm -hmm. I just second nature to me. Oh, crotch the face. I know. Oh, dude. That music saying, I'm a lesbian, I'm a lesbian. No. Damn it. That was gonna be super cool if I finally noticed that. <laughs> I'm a lesbian, I'm a lesbian. Tell me more. Persona. So I gotta say, that the music in this game mm -hmm. hasn't particularly been super varied. No, nah, fight music's always the same. Yeah. Well, even, even outside of that, mm. it just tends to stick to the very similar, like, samey stuff. I think it's just because, um, there's so much game. Because <laughs> they didn't have to worry about paying any more people. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, we got five songs by Barry. Let's go. Barry. <laughs> it's literally Barry Manilow. <laughs> yeah, this sounds like his work. Oh, man. And then I go upstairs, and I turn on the radio, mm -hmm. and you know what I do then? What do you do then, Barry? I start running the bath. Really, Barry? And then after I've run the bath, yeah, I put Barry. some rose petals in the bath, and I get ready for you. What are the rose? I put on the perfume in the bath, and I rub myself. Yeah. Rub myself with all those rose petals, and then, and then while I'm still wet and soggy, I got roses all over me. I run outside into the winter air. Make a snow angel. A special snow angel with a dick on the side. Barry, I'm not gonna lie. Because you can't put it in the front because it's a snow angel. This it's is... only a 2D object and you can't put detail in the middle. This has gone places I wasn't expecting, Barry. It's gone romantic. <laughs> it's so romantic that you can't handle it, Jimmy. Barry, you know why you like... can't handle it? Because I'm the romantic guy. Do you mean Barry Manilow or Barry White? I thought they both did very similar music. I have no idea who Barry Manilow is. I don't actually... Is. Don't? No. Shit. Maybe I'm just thinking Barry White. <laughs> <laughs> no, no! <laughs> I gotta find out now. Okay. No, I need to. This is like a fucking life or death situation. <laughs> Shit, they're gonna eat you! Yeah. What else is new? You should stop. Yeah, they should stop. Anyway. You, oh, that's physical. I keep thinking it's fire. Yeah, it's not. Fire. Um, let's go. Did you get him? Um, but you healed him. I'm healed. Find out what their attacks are. Let's see. Oh, uh, they don't I much give a shit about ice. They they seem to be <laughs> completely physical. You've probably been with the stuff. Yeah. By stuff, I mean all that stuff you've got is magic. Oh yeah. shit! You know what I watched today? What? I think I watched one of the worst, and I say in quote marks, documentaries. Mm. My fucking life. Yeah. It's called Second Skin. Uh, oh! And... Yeah. Man, it's just bad. Like, it starts off, and. Like, you kind of get the feel of it straight away. Mm -hmm. uh, because it's, it starts off and it shows, you know, people that you'd look at as having, like, you know, a, a, a probably a good take on the MMO thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, like, you, like, 
they'd probably know a lot more about him. Like one of the co-founders of Bioware and mm-hmm. a dude from uh, a company called Synthetic Reality. I don't know if you remember them or not. I do, but I can't oh. remember what from. Oh, they sound familiar. Yeah, yeah. I, I, they sound super familiar. I just can't remember what from. Yeah. Uh, and like, then they, they like kind of counterpoint them. Like talking about, you know, talking about MMOs. That's what the whole thing's about. MMOs and people that play them. Yep. And they 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 kind of show these guys saying that these things are blowing up. These things are getting great. Like, cause this this thing was made back in like 2005, I think. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and then you've all of a sudden got these other guys going. I've decided they're bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's like, uh, okay. Yeah. You're in. You're like an M- Like this one dude was called an MMO analyst. He was a, a like a fucking like a private dude he had he had no affiliation or anything so I'm immediately just like why do I need to listen to this fucking guy uh-huh. uh anyway uh, they then like follow uh kind of on and off like this group of guys that are in a guild I guess yeah. there's like five of them I think four of them live together so three of them live together mm-hmm. and one of them moved to the same state as them uh, and is, is living like that dude. The, mo- the dude that moves Damn. in with his girlfriend that's pregnant with twins. Mm-hmm. And one of the dudes that's in the house. Shit, triple Hulk Hogan. They're gonna beat the shit out of you. Uh, Everyone just took shit from Hulk Hogan. But uh, like, they follow those guys, right? Yeah. And that that's like all well and good. And they're basically saying, I play fucking World of Warcraft and shit for like eight hours a day. <laughs> And I'm all like, really? Why would you do that? Like, why would you do that? Wow, okay. But they, they kept, like, talking about how these guys represent everyone that touches video games. Yeah. And I'm just like, well, they, they kind of don't, That's man. Sort of all, like, yeah. they, they don't, like, not all of us are willing to give up social ties to play video games all day and go on raids. Uh, so I keep watching, because I'm getting a little bit iffy at that point. Then, over the course of the video... Starts following like a dude and a chick that meet on EverQuest 2. Yeah. Uh, and it's really weird, like, they, they try to show like as many negative points as they can about these two, like, getting together and meeting. Yeah. But by the end of it, these, this is like, and you know, this was filmed over the case of like, you know, months and months and months. So at the end of it, those two are still together. So that's kind of a win. Yeah. Really. And it's like they're, they're like talking them down the whole time. Uh, and, and I think like the only reason they really showed them was because I had a few arguments. Mm-hmm. Uh, whereas, like, these other couples that they showed that met on the thing, they only had, like, these really quick, like, 15 to 30 second spots of them going, Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. And that's it. They didn't focus on them because they weren't having fucking arguments and shit. <laughs> uh, so, you know, this this seems like really bias against playing video games just in general. Yeah. And, and it's like, I thought that when I was watching this, I was watching, like, a fairly, like, what I thought and what I'd heard. I heard this is one of the better kind of docos on this kind of thing. Yeah. It was actually a fairly balanced thing. Yeah, but it But was. it starts following this dude who is so retarded that he started playing World of Warcraft, let the business he ran slide into decline and fail. Yeah. Fucking refused to basically do anything except play World of Warcraft for so long that he lost his fucking house and shit. Yeah. And... Oh. Oh, man. And, uh... Like, you know, got to the point where this guy's life was fucking ruined because he was such a fucking dumbass that he sat around playing World of Warcraft and never quit two all day. Yeah. And then, like, it goes on to tell about this woman who tried to save him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by, like, because she, she's part like of, like... This is going. Yeah, nice. <laughs> uh, and, you know, like, basically fucking went, come and stay at this halfway house. I've pretty much taken the Alcoholics Anonymous thing and replaced the word alcohol video games. <laughs> And, uh, uh, you can just be here. And he was, and the dude, like, basically went to the thing. And he got really sick of just spending the whole time being there, being told he was the gamer. And being showed off to people as the gamer. And yeah. he was dirt because he was the gamer. Mm-hmm. All this other shit, and I'm just like, fuck that. And then it, like, got to a point with her, where she likened him and how his attitude went to her son. And I immediately went, oh, it oh. fucking clicks. It fucking clicks. They basically, like, she then later on, Starts telling the story about her son. She makes it sound like the dude played a bunch of video games and killed himself because of them. Right? Right. But, when she tells the longer version of the story, dude starts playing video games, she starts going apeshit. The dude loses his job. 
yeah. he gets really depressed and he actually retreats into video games more. Mm -hmm. uh, she takes him to a, a psychiatrist. The psychiatrist says, look, video games aren't his problem. The problem is he's fucked up. Yeah. And she goes, no! Uh! So she goes and gets another opinion. Dude says, He's a little bit schizophrenic, and he's got some pretty fucking heavy depression. Yeah. And she goes, IT'S THE VIDEO GAMES! Uh... And, and so, like, she basically fucking spends the, like, a fucking long-ass amount of time, like, fucking, I think a few years, basically telling this fucking guy that he's a piece of shit because he plays video games, and eventually he kills himself. Right. And to me, that's... I can't blame video games for that. Yeah, that doesn't sound I like a I can blame game having problem. mental issues, them not being addressed, and your mother fucking compacting it by telling you you're worthless. Yeah, did... I mean... Ugh. And she's the one that's sitting there going, I will save the gamers! Well, so the, well, the whole thing with this second skin was... The, was it kind of going... Yo, gamers, they're pretty fucked up, am I right? Yeah. Great. And, uh, and then, like... After now. that, they show the guy that went and heard a little program. Yeah. And he comes out of it, and before he went on this program, he got his brother into World of Warcraft. And yeah. his brother is as big a fucking retard as him. Huh. He sits there playing video games all the time, Weak. and won't even fucking leave the house. Yeah. And so, but this guy has decided that he's better than that. So he starts yelling at his brother that he's a piece of shit and he should stop playing video games. <sighs> and he might as well go out and do crack, because that's there. What? I don't get it. Like, it's so fucking retarded. And they're trying to say that this is some kind of fucking documentary about gamers and their fucking psyches? No, it's about the fucking retards in the community that don't fucking do, do anything other than do that. Uh. Like, even we fucking scream at those people that do that. Yeah. It's- oh my god. Oh no, no sorry. The guys in the house, by the way, and yeah. that dude, it was basically established very early on that they had like a very close, tiny friendship. They weren't like super cool socially. Yeah. And yeah, they, they were like super close to their friendship. Uh, the dude that was not living with them, his, his wife or girlfriend, you know, she has twins. Yep. He spends a lot less time playing the game. Uh, and basically the documentary writes that as, let's chalk that up for a win. He's playing less video games. One of the other guys there in the house, the dude that had his girlfriend living there, moves out with her. And as a result, uh, can't play video games as much because she's basically like too bad. Uh, yeah. and fucking, you know, that's nice, you want to play video games, you're living with me now. Uh-huh. And they chalk that up to a win. Right. And it's like, okay, so, this thing that I was expecting, like, kind of a balanced, like, this actual look into, like, you know, the people that get way too into MMOs. Yeah. It wasn't about the MMOs by the end of it, it was just about people going, bitch, your game's bad. Wicked. And... Fuck, guys! Like, why make a fucking documentary about this? So I can tell it was like probably like, you know, super interesting. Man. Oh, it was fucking annoying because every time something happened on screen, I would facepalm yeah. and I'm just like, like a murder or two. Oh man, I, I couldn't swear because I was sitting there with my door. Oh, that's the worst. <laughs> so I was just like, no, so many But yeah, no, it was just it, so his second skin. Uh, if you're a gamer, don't bother watching it, you just feel insulted. Yeah. Uh, all the way through it. Because right. you're being lumped in with these people that have issues already, and... People are blaming all of their... insulted. Yeah, like, people are blaming video games for every issue that ever arises, yeah. so... Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's pretty crap. It's pretty crap. Uh, yes. You got it! You got it! Man, you must have a lot of space. For yeah. these motherfuckers at this point. I got a big heart. <laughs> I was gonna say brain. You can go with heart if you want. No, because like he's always welcoming the shit into his heart, so Yeah. I figure. It must be his heart. Like it, it, it expands it's like Grinch rules. <laughs> like the the more I uh the more Your people... heart's like the TARDIS. Yeah, like the the more that I help people out. And the stronger I get, the more that my heart grows. And we, so... We're actually playing a game that should have been called The Miracle of Christmas. Oh, there it should have been. <laughs> I just remember, I think I got like something from Nanako or some shit. Let me just check. Actually, I just remembered. Like, did the date for Christmas kind of come and go and we didn't even notice? No, it's not Christmas yet. 
Oh, okay. Is it a big? Is it a big deal in this game? Not really. I didn't, I didn't think it would be Japanese game at all. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's a big deal. But yeah, I, was uh, I think yeah. in um, I don't even know if you actually. Ex I, you have no, it? I, I have no idea. I, I think it gets acknowledged in the golden, but I don't know if, <laughs> if it does in this. Do so they mention like a wacky Western holiday or something? Yeah, they just give each other presents. They're fucking weird. Like, I don't know. Maybe like it's Christmas. You you eat a burrito with your girlfriend. <laughs> I don't know. Burritos. Yes. <laughs> my fucking burritos. I love my burritos. I do love my burritos. It's tough. It's tough. Oh. Tough like meat gum. Bam! You love it. Uh, I don't think I ever tried fire on these guys. They are made of fire, so I wouldn't blame you for not trying. Because they eat it. <laughs> what bastards. I don't know, right? Line! What, Nick? Stop eating fire. I can't. No. It's too good. Uh, it's like when you get a zinger. And you're all like, fuck, I gotta eat this. Yeah. Well, if fire is with deep fried, so it's probably better for you. I don't know, I had a zinger the other day. Pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, but you die with take out, though. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. You fucking do. Like, I don't think not once in the last million years have we ever ordered a pizza from anywhere and you haven't, like, sat there poking and saying, it's so greasy. And I think the last time we sat together and ate KFC, you were sick for, like, a day. That's different. <laughs> like, uh, having, like, KFC one time and then going, oh, fuck. Um, is totally different. Oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> To, like eating pizza and going, it's greasy. I don't like that grease, but I like that pizza. Whereas you've gotten food poisoning from pizza. Yeah, but that wasn't because it was greasy. It's because he's shitty fucking pepperoni. And I'm just saying, you're the one who's come closer to dying from fast food than me. Yeah, for a legitimate thing though, like for like sickness, for something went into my body and fucking punched me from the inside. Well, that one time when we had KFC, I got sickness, but no one else did. Maybe I got a bad chicken Crunchy leg. got like really super sick from like the same pizza stuff too. Yeah, okay, well they probably gave they probably like ejaculated all over it, <laughs> and they're like fucking eat this, you bookers. Well, I'm just. Didn't that happen you. somewhere once? No, they didn't ejaculate on it. They farted on it. Uh huh. And they put a bunch of their hairs on it, and they spat on it, and they burped on it. Why? You know, more to the point, why did they film it and put it on YouTube? Good question. <laughs> like, I, I wouldn't, you know, that's a pretty shitty thing to do to start with. Mm. It can get you fired, and it did get them fired. Because they put it on fucking YouTube. Just don't, don't mess with people's food. It's a shitty thing to do. Yeah. That's Teddy's footprints! Oh man, already? Uh, that's a tree. Yeah, we're ascending heaven. Tree. The tree of life. It's a tree. Tree of knowledge. Tree of stairs. It could be one of those fucking <laughs> magical bean stalks. It's getting foggy in here. Must be not a good chance of all ice. Just I think it's just it's too quiet. Okay, I will. <laughs> She's looking at her other self going, If you touch my big brother, I will murder you. Oh, fucking very good to die. Yeah. You don't even know. There isn't really that much of a hidden side to me, so you're about this big and I'm going to fucking squash you. <laughs> <laughs> Nanako gets out a knuckle duster. <laughs> Dude, she always keeps on her. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Figured I should save in case of death. Yeah, you did go off the floor. Uh, How many might... gomes do you have? Huh? Um, eight. I might do a bit of fusing. Yeah. I don't even remember what you could do at this point, though. Yeah, see if there's anything good I can grab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 